Nigeria may be about 11,000 kilometers away from the United States, but the stories and the conversations of the 2023 elections are on the leaves of many people in this country, especially about half a million of residents who are of Nigerian ancestry. But the big question is, why? In downtown Washington, D.C., in America's capital, on a chilly evening, I met with American lawmaker and his friends and staff. Yeah. Meet Oye Owolewa, a Boston-born politician who has been agitating for a statehood for Washington, D.C. in the House. He has a Nigerian ascestry, and as much as he has his eyes on the American politics and governance, his mind is also on the Nigerian election. I believe that our opinion is important because not only can we support financially, we should also be able to support advisory. We should be able to go back to Nigeria and feel safe there. You know, Nigeria is our home too. As much as I am an American, I do feel the same way as being Nigerian as well. He believes there is so much people of Nigerian ancestry or Nigerians living in diaspora can do differently this time to impact on the 2003 polls. We're expecting a safe and fair elections. We are very proud of the president for signing that historic bill and also reducing the age of candidacy so young people can get more involved. I met some Nigerian professionals living in Washington, D.C. and in Maryland, a neighboring city, and my question is, why is the 2023 election so important? Two major reasons, basically, why I'm interested. Level of insecurity and level of unemployment. Yeah, I'm passionate about us having a leader that has vision, a leader that will, beyond the usual rhetorics that we get, campaign promises, someone that can deliver. I'm optimistic, but at the same time, I don't want to be over-optimistic uh, because uh, I'm in Nigerian and I know how things were done in the past. There are a lot of awareness and interest in this election, and I'm very confident that with the independence of INEC and with um, enough security um, around to secure ballot and all that, this election will count and the will of the people will prevail. They also share their thoughts on the sort of president they wish Nigeria could get next year and the kind of ideas that can help the nation reach its potentials. A leader that listens to people, a leader that ensures that court judgments have been obeyed, a leader that ensures that security and life, property of people are, are, are being secured. A country where everybody can live and work peacefully. And number two, the level of unemployment is extremely high. We have to start thinking about job creation. Although the Nigerian law does not permit diaspora voting, but if these folks get a chance to vote in 2023 elections, what would they do? Sure, I'd actually be going to Nigeria to cast my ballot. Every wish of people in diaspora is to be able to at least contribute through voting. We are hoping that Nigeria will get to a place where we can digitally vote from wherever it is. These Nigerians have high hopes about the future of the largest nation on the African continent. But just like millions of those residing in Nigeria, they have their prayers. God bless Nigeria. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. God bless Nigeria. May God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The nation surely needs all the prayers now. Indeed, God bless Nigeria. Shion Wakimaloe, reporting for Channels Television News.